whistleblower cases uh, involve a situation where a company or individual has defrauded the government or some governmental entity out of money through some sort of fraudulent scheme. We've been handling those kind of cases a long time. We have cases in the office now. One is a drug manufacturer who overcharged for drugs and was not truthful about what the drug would do. Uh, other types of cases in, in the medical field is where uh, kickbacks are paid to doctors, not in the form of cash, of course, but they try to cover them up with some type of scheme like renting space from a doctor for at a price that's not fair. Uh, there's all kinds of uh, schemes that they come up with. Cable companies, uh, illegal charges that they make, uh, or improper charges that they make. There's all different types of schemes that have been put together to try to defraud the government or get money from the government. In those cases, the whistleblower is called the relator, and the case is filed under seal. The government can elect to participate or not participate. If they elect to participate, then they're involved in the case. If they don't, then the relator takes the case on his, his or her own and, and goes forward. Then if there is a recovery, the relator gets a percentage of it, uh, and we represent the relator and then get our fee from the percentage that the relator gets. They take a long time. They're extremely complex, but uh, they can turn out well for people that are willing to step up and expose the fraud of companies.